Hello friends, welcome to the Smart Excel and this is my second video on break even analysis. So I don't want to do much on what is actually a break even analysis. It's a business call. It's a commercial function which will cost which we will come to know about the profits and losses of the products or services. So in the, in the previous video, in the video number one, I showed you how to do in the normal Excel and do a relationship. Although the relationship table was not required, I showed you how to do the same. But in this video, this is going to be showing you how to do the break even analysis in DAX formula or data models or pivot tables, sorry, power pivots. So the same functions are going to be, be used in a different scenario. Yes, you know that these are my four tables and these tables I have already we converted them into tables. So we know how to convert into a table. So I don't want to waste time on converting the tables. So how to calculate the selling price into unit price is going to be a revenue. That's going to be a DAX formula. So to units sold into cost, is going to be variable cost and the profit is revenue minus fixed cost minus variable cost so all the four tables are there as i showed you the things are scattered up and down so they are not the serial numbers are not in a space and you can see my queries in power is not the thing is connected to a power query so the power query i'll be showing in the new video so there's nothing connected right now and my managed data model is also empty so now this I'm going to fill this. So first of all, let's come take this into a data model. So let's go to Power Pivot. Keep your cursor over here and you have converted into a table. So this table will be converted into a data model. So add to a data model. So you can see selling price is already added now. Now in the same way, you can close this. You can go to this sheet, click on the cursor and add to a data model. Close this. You don't need to save because automatically it will be get, it will be saved. Add to a data model. And it's, it's not required, but still I'll be adding this to a data model. But because I'm going to show you why is this. So I will have all the four tables in the data models. Now let's do the evaluation. So my evaluation was there. my revenue is selling price into units sold multiplied by units sold. So I'll be making this as a revenue column. Revenue. So revenue is selling price. So this is my selling price. So I'll be doing equal to equal to and I'll be selecting this column. Selling price. So you can choose selling price. So multiplied by now I'm going to show you a simple name and technique will be doing this. Multiplied will be like. And now I'll just find the units sold. So in the units sold, I'm going to take units sold, units sold. So units are item description. This is serial number. This is item description. This is units sold here. So this is the column. So I'll be taking this and I'll be hitting enter. So now we got an error because system doesn't recognize these terms. So what you have to do is you have to create a relationship between these terms. So in this contrary, you have to use the related function. So this is the same. This selling price is of the same table. So when you go to another table, you need to have a related function. So it will be like related. I'm putting related, not related table, it will be related. So I'll be opening the parenthesis and I'll be going to the end and I'll be closing the parenthesis and I'll hitting enter. The 
but still I am getting an error. That is because I should have a relationship set. So I'll be leaving this in the same pattern. I'm going to the next one. The next one is variable cost. So variable cost is units sold into cost per unit. So I'll be doing here as variable cost. So in layman terms, it is going to be like equals to units sold. units sold multiplied by cost per unit cost per unit and I'm going to hit enter here also you are getting an error because you should have a relationship function over here so this should be should be using a related function. So I'll be doing this and I'll be closing the parenthesis over here. Same pattern, this also should be related because this is in the not in this table. It's considered considering a new tab. So it should be late open parenthesis and close parenthesis here and hit enter now I have revenue and variable cost but the answers are error so let's go to diagrams and now you can see it's showing an error so let's make a relationship between the tables So now I made a relationship in the table. Now if you want you can make a parent relationship also. If you want you can have a relationship with this, this relationship with this. This is called parent relationships. So let's see the diagram B. Now you can see the answers are coming here. So we got the answers. So always you have to have a relationship. So if you delete this relationship, it is, all these things have been gone. This is a simple way of creating relationship. Actually, the relationship can be created in different forms. You can create create relationship and manage a relationship. You can see this is the way you have to select it. It's like same like the merge function. So you can have a, another table and you can see this has been creating a relationship. But I don't I have, I have a previous videos on that. Please refer to those videos. So now data view, I got the answers from. So now the next column, next thing which we'll be doing is profit and loss. So profit and loss is revenue, profit is revenue minus fixed cost minus variable cost. So what I'll be doing is I'll be making this into Profit and loss, P and L. So it's going to be like equals to revenue. So this is going to be my revenue column. column minus variable cost minus fixed cost anyhow I know the fixed cost is 200,000 either I can type 200,000 over here if you're not comfortable in typing this you can Again, you have to make this into 
fixed cost and hit enter it's giving an error so you should have a relation function over here so it will be like related because we are considering another table so now we got the answers so in case if you want you can have a commas and all here itself and if you want you can have a formula or dax formula is in the if condition it can be like if is greater than Fifteen thousand. Then, then it will be a profit or it will be a loss. So you can see. So I'll be giving this name as. result so i showed you how to do all those in the same sheet so i could have done in other sheets also but you can see if you are using the same table selling price you don't need to have a related function but in case if you are using a different sort of scenario you need to have if you have different uh, tabs to be using then you should have a related function you can see related units sold because it's a different tab and here also related units sold into related cost per unit so units sold and cost per unit are in the different uh, different sheets and again uh, if you want to see profit and loss also revenue is in revenue is here so this is revenue it's in the same sheet minus variable cost in the same sheet but when you are going to different sheet we should have a related function and the results are it is just an x if condition so now we can take this into a pivot table directly we don't need to take all other things because all our data is over here so we have different options we can take pivot table pivot chart and flatten pivot tables which what i use so it's a bigger one so we can go in a new sheet So all of our data was in the selling price. So you can see all the calculations are here. So I can give you, this is my item description. So revenue, variable cost, profit and loss and result. Or you can So now you can just have your own type of data analysis. You can you can convert this into any type. Then you can increase the size. So you can see how these four tables were combined and we how we got the answers. So this is the use of a DAX formulas. If you are not good in, uh, if you are not good in writing lookups and all, I think this is also a bit complicated. But still, it's more interesting. So whenever you add any data in any of these four, you don't need to do anything automatically. You just have to go to data and refresh all. So all the data will be automatically updated. So you can see the profit and loss over here, and if you want, you can set it into a largest to smallest so some of the revenue this is the main one uh, so some of profit and losses then 
then when if you can go here and you can select this and sort into largest to smallest so i think you got this video and uh, you can see all the negatives are in losses so if you want you can select this So I'll be, show, I'll be seeing how it's uh, not working over here, but I feel it's, it's a small mistake I'm just doing right now. So anyhow, we got the answers. So please refer to the previous video and we will see the total. And the total was same in the previous video also, 147, 1. 1.4 million. So this was the total, which I got 1.4. 1. 1. 7 million third so 1.47 million so please check to my previous video and uh, the way it was in the other way and this is another way around so i hope you find this video useful so i have did convert the two aspects in breaking analysis in normal excel and in power pivots in data models so next video i will be showing you how to do that in power query and then i'll be showing you how to do the same in measures so thanks for watching this video please subscribe to my channel please share this video please give me a comment and please look at what is happening in the uh, so options of uh, summarizing the uh, showing uh, sorry when you're doing this sorting option so i'll be checking also that on that please give me a comment on that so I don't want to waste more time on doing this. I hope you find this video very, very useful. Please give me your please give me your comments and please uh, like or sh dislike the video if you don't like. If you and please share. So this technique can be learned by many people, and the DAX formulas are understood by many. So see you in the next video. Thank you.